The contenders for the battery drain test today are the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with a whopping 4,100 mAh battery. This is paired with a 7 nanometer Snapdragon 855 chipset of 2019. This is their biggest milliamp hour battery seen in a flagship phone to date. Before that, we had the Galaxy Note 9 with a huge 4,000 mAh battery, though this is paired with a 10 nanometer Snapdragon 845 chip, which is last year's offering, though this phone only came up a couple months ago. Now, other than that, we have the Xiaomi Mi 9, which has the smallest of the bunch, a 3,300 mAh battery, but it also has the seven nanometer Snapdragon 855 chipset of this year. So it should do quite well considering Xiaomi software is always well optimized for the Snapdragon and chips. Now all of these phones are huge incredible beasts to say the least and I'm really excited to see what they're offering here. So without further ado guys this is Technic and let's go. So starting up here, I actually have a lux meter paired here and I made sure to get the reading between 52 and 53 of a lux meter rating over here. Before we land up starting a test, I just used a plain white background from Google here. And before we start the test, I just want to let you guys know that in the middle here, you can see the hours over there, uh, zero hours, zero, zero minutes at the moment. And that is because I'm using an interval here. So you'll see that the interval intervals are tied in with the battery percentages here. Now I also made sure that all of the screen resolutions are to 1080p since the S10 Plus and the Note 9 are natively running 1440p which is QHD but since the Xiaomi is limited to 1080p I've set them all to 1080p as well and with the same brightness I've also made sure to enable all of the network settings such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and NFC and so on. So you can see here we're hitting the 30 minute mark which is where our first interval is coming up and here we hit 96% on the S10 Plus and Note 9 respectively and 97% impressively on the Mi 9 even though it has that smaller battery it seems to be losing less juice at the moment. So you can see that interval timer in the, in the middle over there sitting at 30 minutes there and we did start up with Spotify over here just playing a repeated track here. I did have a few little issues trying to get them all working offline together but on the 45 minute interval mark you can see 93% on the S10 Plus and the Note 9 and 95% on the Mi 9 which is actually 2% better than the other two even though there's a 700 milliampere battery between it and the Note 9 and a 800 milliampere battery difference between the S10 Plus and the Mi 9. And on the one hour interval, you can see that we have the S10 Plus at 91%, the Note 9 now lagging last with 90%, though not by much, and the Mi 3 still holding strong at 93%. They're all relatively the same over here at the moment, guys. And it is kind of a question of whether the 10 nanometer and seven nanometer chip actually make a difference here. And at the moment it doesn't look like it, but we'll have to see later on what actually happens with the seven nanometer chip and to see how efficient it is when it comes to battery life. Now hitting on the one hour and 30 mark off the running Shazam for quite a while, you can see 85% on the S10 plus 83% on the Note 9 and 88% on the Mi 9 here. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. The Note 9 is actually lagging behind quite a bit now compared to the Mi 9 is now 5% lower than that. And moving on to Twitter over here, I've just run a looped video on Twitter. They're all running the same stuff over here. And there are a couple of apps that I just wanted to mention on the Mi 9, it actually kind of cuts off the top over there where the notch is. So it doesn't actually utilize the full 6.39 inch display. So that actually might benefit it as well. Another thing is I did run a program in the background over here to make sure all the screens stay on, but the Mi 9 seems to struggle to keep its screen on at times. Uh, now hitting the two hour mark, you can see the interval in the middle. I have 79% on the S10 plus, 76% on the Note 9 and 83% on the Mi 9. Now with this two hour interval, I have made sure to go onto the exact same Facebook TV network over here. Um, which is just broadcasting live from California. Uh, so all the comments are coming through exactly the same time and the footage is displayed at the full screen. You can actually see the notch is cut away there on the Mi 9. I did try to take this away, but I failed to do so. So now 73% on the S10 plus, 69% on the Note 9 and 77% on the Xiaomi Mi 9. And this is at the two hour 30 mark. And now I've decided to run camera and they all can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. But the Note 9 is limited to just recording at five minutes I'm really grateful that Samsung have taken away that limit now and now you can the sky is the limit when it comes to recording 4K 60 frames per second footage. Now the phones are going to take a huge knock here since recording 4K video does drain the battery quite considerably, but I'm pretty sure you guys like to record your videos on the fly. So 59% on the three hour mark for the S10 Plus. On the Note 9, we have 54% and on the Mi 9, we have 62%. So the Mi 9 is still holding really strong here on the three hour mark, even though it has a much smaller battery compared to the others. I'm now running Helix Jump on them. 
you can see that the S10 Plus has dimmed over there on the screen. I'm not quite sure why. And the Mi 9 has completely turned off. Now this isn't for too long since I did jump into the room every five or so minutes to check on the phones. So if this does happen, you can kind of expect maybe a five to 10 minute difference in the final results. Now on the three hours and 30 minutes mark, you can see the S10 Plus has 52% battery life. The Note 9 is now 10% lower than that, even though there's a 100 milliampere difference between the two with 42%, though the seven nanometer chipsets and the 10 nanometer chipsets respectively with the two does make for quite a bit of bit of a difference. Then the Mi 9 is on 53%, which is 1% more than the S10 Plus, though it does have a considerably smaller battery life and it is running the same 7 nanometer chip, which is a Snapdragon 855. Now I've decided to go ahead and run YouTube for the next 30 minutes and now we hit the four hour mark, 47% on the S10 Plus, 36% on the Note 9 and 48% on the Mi 9. So you can see that the Note 9 is dropping considerably here. I'm running the first Angry Birds game over here. I played a little bit and then just let it run because the little birds like to hop up and down now and then. So it does use some processing power over there in the foreground. Uh, now you can see the Xiaomi screen has decided to turn off again. Uh, unfortunately for that, I couldn't change it, but there, as you saw, it was only two or three minutes. Uh, so like I said, just expect five to 10 minutes difference with the final results here. But it should be pretty similar to the Mix 3 before it, uh, though that did run a 10 nanometer Snapdragon 845 chip, the same as the Note 9. Now on the four hours 30 mark, 30 minute mark, we have 42% on the S10 Plus, 29% on the Note 9, which is falling rapidly, and 44% still out doing the S10 Plus on the Xiaomi Mi 9, even though that battery difference, I cannot get over how small the battery is on the Mi 9, though it is doing so well, MIUI 10 is really optimized well for the new Snapdragon chip. They must have worked quite well and closely with Qualcomm to get that right, just right. And that is also why they have such great charging methods as well, which I'll get to comparing that with the S10 Plus. So stay tuned for that one, guys. On the five hour mark, I decided to run in 2.2, but before I jumped onto that, we had 37% on the S10 Plus, 21% on the Note 9, and 38% on the Mi 9. I have not set performance mode up on any of them, and I must note here that the Note 9 definitely went around 10 degrees hotter than the other two here, and it is definitely because of the chipset in these phones. So now on the five hour 10 mark, you can see 32% on the S10 Plus, 15% on the Note 9, which looks like it's going to die any second now, and 32% on the Mi 9. The S10 Plus and the Mi 9 have now caught up to each other, and now the S10 Plus on the 5 hour and 30 mark has now gone ahead of the Mi 9, as expected, since Samsung do do quite well with their lower end kind of lost 30%. They do use certain optimization. I don't think it dips any performance at all here, but I do think that they try squeeze as much battery life as possible out of it and that is what Huawei did with their Mate 20 Pro as well and that's why that saw over a seven hour screen on time usage here. Now guys, if you're looking at these phones for average everyday use, then you can expect a lot longer average time. You're expecting a day or two use out of these considering you're on your phone for maybe three or four hours a day and this is a screen on test from start to finish here. So the Note 9 knocks off there at six hours and two minutes, which is actually relatively the same as my last test since I definitely use the exact same apps. Maybe on my first test was a bit different, but be sure to check those out. On my first test of the Note 9, I had five hours and 46 minutes. And then as soon as it got its Pi update, it hit six hours and four minutes and at six hours and two minutes. So maybe the screen brightness differed a little bit between my last test and this test, but it is relatively the same. So the battery life is holding even after months of use. Now, after the six hours and two minute mark when the Note 9 knocked off, the S10 Plus had 22% and the Mi 9 had 19%, which means that the Mi 9 is dropping a lot quicker near the end game over here. So now on the six hours 30 mark, you can see the Galaxy S10 Plus hit 16% and the Mi 9 with 11%. Obviously the Note 9 is still sitting at 0% there. So now I'm running some Geekbench 4 tests over here. And then you can see that the battery percentages here hit 14% and 9% respectively on the S10 Plus and the Mi 9 at six hours and 40 minutes. Now I'll be doing the intervals slightly closer and the reason I did intervals here is because this video takes a hell of a long time to make guys and it is really complicated to edit this kind of video. So I really hope that you do appreciate this at the end for me doing bringing you guys this test. Now on the six hours 50 mark, 12% and 6%. So the S10 Plus is double that of the Mi 9 at the moment. Though the Mi 9 is still doing really well with almost seven hours and there it is six hours, 58 minutes of screen on time for the 
the Mi 9. I'm ridiculously impressed since my best run on this channel so far is the Z5 Pro with the same, well, similar 3350 mAh battery and the Mate 20X with a 5000 mAh battery which knocked off at 7 hours and 10 minutes on the dot. So it's better than this, but this is a really tiny battery and it did really optimized well and it has a monster of a CPU chip at the moment. So with the S10 Plus, I decided to run another 4K 60 frames per second video just to knock it off and see how much longer it can actually go here. But at 7 hours and 10 minutes, it has now 11, 12, 13, it has surpassed the Mate 20X, which has a 900 milliampere hour better battery than this. And seven hours and 17 minutes, it is knocked off here, guys. That is impressive to say the least. I'm really impressed with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. But the Mi 9, I have to give a shout out, it did extremely well considering it has an 800 milliampere difference with the S10 Plus and itself. So going through the actual results here, guys, I want you to see the difference here. And the Note 9 is at 4,000 milliampere battery. It came in third with six hours and two minutes, which is what I expected based on my previous test with similar apps and similar screen brightness as well as 1080p. Then in second, in second place, we have the Xiaomi Mi 9 with six hours and 58 minutes, guys. I cannot tell you how impressed I am with this, considering it's 3,300 milliampere battery, though it is paired with a seven nanometer, really efficient Snapdragon 855 chipset compared to the Note 9s kind of sluggish 10 nanometer 845 chipset and the winner for the round today is obviously the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus which is what we expected with 7 hours and 17 minutes guys 4100 milliampere battery is just 100 milliampere less than the Mate 20 Pro and that is said to be the best battery life out there I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it until next time guys this is Technic